Hmm. You know, I probably shouldn't be surprised. Because it was a bit silly of me to think that blasting plants with mystical green energy beams would be any better than plant incest. Hello everyone, welcome back to Regrowth. As you can see, between episodes I got us not just our lovely new osmium seeds, but I also got us regeneration, speed, ghast, night vision, fire resistance, water breathing, strength, and downstairs I have just freshly made sulfur. Yes, that is, I believe, pretty much all of the seeds that we are going to get. Now there are a couple ones left over. You see this is only 90% complete because they are behind reputation locks. I believe we still need to receive... I'm not sure. I know that Certus is one. And I know that there's one for some weird, like, high-tech, magitech, academy craft mod or something like it's image seed or something like that but we are for the most part probably more or less done with making seeds and you can see in the end how huge this field had to be it could possibly be made a little bit smaller just by compressing the fields down but laying them out like this makes them easier to automate and I might automate all of them. But yeah, you can see just how much we have to do. And this is just more or less the magical crops with a couple extras like a field of botania flowers and a field of pumpkins to make more compost. This, this is a lot of plant life. So, now that we have a supply of osmium secured, I have smelted up all the rest of the osmium that we had, and I made myself a couple more rolling machines. And whenever I encounter a new plate or whatever recipe that I'm going to need, I'm just going to make a new rolling machine for it. So eventually we'll have all of the things we need on tap. So, without further ado, I'm not sure if I actually have the quest for it yet. Okay, it would be under enables, I think. Yeah... No, it's not in here. Is there another one? I think how the world enhances is the mechanism quest line. But we don't have it unlocked yet. It must be behind a rep lock. So, why don't we try and unlock that? Just because. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to make a squeezer. Uh-oh oddly drained. Flux flu. That just makes magic more expensive. Thank you for so politely rec reminding me that I need to keep this thing on whenever I'm filming. Well, until I forget and we get more shenanigans anyway. So, squeezer. For that, we're going to need sturdy casing and the speak of the devil, it's time to make another rolling machine. Okay, there's our rolling machine. All sorted. Now I just need to place it down in the line. Easy peasy. Okay, and for that we are going to need some bronze. Oops, yes it is in there. I need to trust myself on that. Just goes like that. Place it all down. So yeah, now whenever I need more rolling machines I just plonk a bunch of bronze ingots in here and it'll craft them up. So, making the squeezer. It's just a bunch of tin and some glass. I believe I might be out of tin. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. There we go. Squeezer. Yes. Unfortunately, the squeeze. No, wait, I'm thinking of something else. The squeezer, I think, is for bees. Let me see. Can I view uses? No. Maybe. Let's see. I think it's used for making honey. Centrifuge. No, it's made for 
liquid honey, isn't it? Yeah, squeezer. And maybe I can view recipes in there. Yeah, it's, it's fish. Huh? Huh. Guess it's compatible with mariculture. It's used for making seed oil, for making impregnated casings, and it's a bunch of other bee stuff. And I am not doing bee stuff right now. But that is a quest. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yes. And it can also make fruit juice for in case we were doing the ethanol line, which we are not because it turns out that coal is a lot easier. So that's a couple mechanist points for us. How about next? We could... I never completed the reclamation quest line. Hmm. Well, let's let's do an easier one. That's just smooth stone and quartz transport lines. That's easy. Need eight of those. Need two of those. Need two of those. Just into block. Doop doop. Doop. Quartz and smooth stone. Yes, I think the only thing that makes these special is they don't connect to each other and to cobblestone pipes. But I believe the gold pipe connects to them. I'm not sure, though. Let me, let's test that. I think I have a... Yeah, I have a bare gold pipe down here. Yep, it connects to gold. And gold will actually accelerate items. It is the best item transport pipe, and there is no reason not to use it. So these are unfortunately just something we make for a quest. Now let's sandstone, okay. Yes, I don't do a lot of quests on screen, and I realized that if I'm let's playing a quest, pa a quest pack, I should do that. Only connects to other pipes. I mean, I guess that could be useful. Now what's iron, obsidian, and void? Mm hmm. I'm not sure what the recipe for void pipes are. As the name implies, void pipes will... Ah, oh, yes, obsidian pipes. These actually are potentially useful. If you put them down and you just throw something onto them, and I think I have... I think they're directional, so they need another pipe just to show them which way to go. Yeah, if I throw something down then the obsidian pipe sucks it up and puts it into the pipes. So potentially... Ah, yes, and if you provide them with power, they gain a bit of range. So potentially, instead of hopper hawks, I could have obsidian pipes floating up above a plot with some power to them, and they would suck up all the items as well. But... no. Hopper hawks are easier and would create less lag. Because things in pipes are actually entities, while things in chests are not. Although they, they are going to immediately go into a pipe, so. Okay, so void pipes. Pipe, no. Void pipes. These things will destroy any items that flow through them. We will probably eventually want one on some things that uh, infinitely make liquids that that we don't want to lock up, like the creosote processing. Just in case the day ever comes that we fill up that massive tank. Iron. Iron pipes are single direction pipes. You can make it so that if you have, there it is, derp-a-derp. -derp. 
Yes, you can make it so that, say, if you have one pipe coming in here and jar, one jar, and let, let's say that this path is the overflow, if you take your wrench, you see how this side's clear? That means that items will only go this way unless they have no other choice. So then when they loop around, they would, yeah, they would be caught in a loop like this. Can be useful. Can also get you in trouble. Because you do not want a loop of a billion things clocking up your pipes. Better routing, diamond, emerald, and stripes. Stripey pipes. Stripey pipes are kind of a specialist pipes. It requires two gold gears. Very expensive. They are kind of useful for... Well, okay. If you just pipe a item to them when they're unpowered, they will put that item down. Not like eject it, they will actually build the block. If you pipe a piece of piping to them, which I'll actually show you, stripey pipes are directional. They point in whichever way they have a block behind them. So right now this one is pointing here. But if I were to do this, now it is pointing here. You see? And they are a little bit weird. If I were to give them, say, some pipes, then the stripey pipe should replace itself for the golden pipe and then move forward along its direction. Doop. So you could use them to automatically build long lines of pipes. If, I don't know, you wanted to. If I were to pipe it in any sort of block that can be placed down, then the stripey pipe will build that block. Just like a so. And if we give the stripey pipe power, it will then in turn suck that block in. And I believe it can inject into insertion pipes into inventories. Yes, there it is. So stripey pipes are a little bit specialized, but they are potentially very, very useful. And in some ways that even mechanism pipes are not. Like, for example, I do believe that if you put a tool through them, they will use that tool. And then you could have an obsidian pipe at the bottom, sucking it back up and circling the tool around. So if you have a stripey pipe facing downwards into a imprisoned cow, and you pipe through buckets of milk, and, or, and you pipe in buckets, It'll milk the cow for you, and you can pipe out the buckets of milk. Although there are probably easier ways to do that, even in this pack. Still, if Buildcraft is the only industrial mod you have, or if you're sort of something, that has some uses for you. So, enough about strip of pips. Diamond. Okay, I guess it wants me to continue on making pipes. You know what? I am going to make this chest a little bit bigger. Be right back. Okay, let's continue on with our quest to unlock the quest to continue on with our quest. Between cuts, I played around with these 
pearl oysters that we used to have that you might remember, and I figured out that the only block of water they require is a block of water directly on top of them. So I set up a much more compact little pearl farm over here. Now, next up in the book, it wants us to obtain a bucket of oil. So I've got all the materials over here for us to go and start farming an oil well. I'm also going to be bringing along the old Mariculture diving suit. Where's the fourth piece of it? There it is. And also an air pump and a... Let's just use the hobbyist engine. Because I will be going out to the ocean and we have another quest to find some ocean stuff. So... I believe the closest oil well is just straight this way. If ever you encounter a texture problem, just hold F3 and press A. That will reload everything. Yes, we have a lovely bunch of coconuts over there. I believe that even without... <laughs> oh yeah, this is my new cosplay. I believe that even without an air supply, the diving helmet will act as just essentially a snorkel for us, so I can go diving down next to that oil well and I can find a nice place on the floor to pillar up. <laughs> Okay, this looks like a good place to start. I wonder if night vision works at all well underwater. It works quite well. And I'm probably going to drown a little bit, but that's okay. Just so long as I don't drown all the way. Okay, let's get up on top of this thing. Oh, I can see. I can see forever! I went way too high. I can see forever, he says as he gets high. Okay. That looks about right. Okay, so if I put that there, and then I can put all these down. That and that. And both of those. And finally, donk. Now, this should take a moment to extend a pipe down, and then it should start to pump lovely crude oil for us. There we go. Bucket of oil. Now I imagine it wants me to make combustion engines for it. Yep. So, we kind of skipped the combustion oil tier. I don't really like them. I don't know. I just don't like having such a limited fuel supply. And there is a way to get infinite oil in this pack, but it involves bees. And yeah, by the time I could breed up bees, like, I would be at episode 30, I guess. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. And, and you see that for how huge this is, there isn't all that much oil in it. Hmm. Yeah. So, let's look at that other quest we came out here to do. It wants ancient sand, blue coral, and coral rock. Well, I think I'll just leave this here. I'll come back for it if I ever need oil. Hmm. I don't see any coral nearby. 
do see lots of pearl oysters. I wonder if these railcraft abyssal stone things are kind of like how they are in vanilla. I think if I have diving suit boots, I sink faster. No. Maybe it's the diving suit pants. Maybe it's a whole diving suit. No. Doesn't look like they are. Oh boy. This could be bad. Oh boy. Well. Curiosity killed the robot. You forgot about this look, didn't you? Oh yeah. Yes, it's right there. Uh-oh. This could be problematic. No, not problematic. Although I am probably going to have to put my magnet on in order to find everything once again. I think I have everything back. Okay. So, let's go out to the open ocean to get back to... Oh, quest book. Check. Let's get back to the open ocean to talk about finding some coral. What the heck is that chest? What the heck is that chest? Didn't look like there was anything important in there. Maybe I should get some water breathing potions. Nah. I'm not sure what ancient sand looks like. This hand looks kind of gray, is that it? Yes, it is. Okay. So, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, air pump. Hobbyist engine. I forgot fuel. I forgot to bring fuel. And it's raining. <sighs> Maybe I should refill my potion bottle while I'm here. Yeah, I've only got one shot left. And I'm kind of relying on it for underwater vision. There is a mariculture thing to help with underwater vision. But I believe that farming up this ancient sand and finding a natural gas pocket is going to be part of making it. Okay, yeah, watch how fast this goes. Doop, 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 doop. Done. <laughs> and those ones don't even have lenses on them. Yeah. Okay, load our engine up with water, load our engine up with fuel, load our engine up with an RF signal. Let it heat up. There we go. Okay. We are now entering the water, nature's domain. The last great kingdom that man has not explored. We find the ancient sand that has built up over many centuries. We farm it, mindless of the great story that it has never told. Nature is so cruel, but man is crueler. Only 14 pieces, huh? Well, Let's look around. Regular sand, you're lame. Bunch of oysters and bullshit. Ugh. 
bees. Bees. But yeah, as you can see, this water pump has a pretty good range. Not that good, however. So yeah, that looked like maybe a range of 30 blocks. Oh, hey, coral stone. No, that is salt. Huh. Really? You don't go that far? I thought you went for frickin' ever, man. Come on. Spent all that time winding you up for nothing. <sighs> Thankfully, by doing this deep sea excavation, I do believe I am unlocking the pathway to greater things. Because, let's see, I think that this ancient sand, I can make heat-resistant glass. With that, I can make these empty bottles that are useful for a bunch of things. Mostly, I think I need them to make a bottle of natural gas. Mm, no, it looks like just regular bottles will work for that. I swear, what was, what was the one thing I needed for scuba tanks? Okay, that's just sheets of aluminum and yellow dye. That's easy. The scuba mask requires those plastic lenses. Okay. Okay. It can be done with ethanol? Huh. That might be easier if I can't find natural gas. Yeah, I think this area is about farmed out. Okay. Now, I could swear that we had a coral reef somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow, and I guess I'll just circle the coastline and look. Meanwhile, it's miserable and raining. That is one thing that I am kind of ambivalent about. Like, I, I know that we're supposed to be regrowing the world, but, I mean, if if I start, like, actually making biomes that aren't wasteland everywhere, then, well, I'll have rain to deal with. That looks promising. And I'm not sure, isn't, isn't there a forestry machine that can turn rain off? I don't know. I'll look for that later. But yes, this is very promising looking indeed. I don't think I even need to set up my breathy breathy thing. A sponge. I need to set up my breathy breathy thing. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to charge it up with the engine. I'm just going to hand crank it a little bit. Build up a couple minutes of charge. That should do the trick. So, Coral Reef. Do you... What is this weird flow? That was weird. I was getting sucked towards the coral. So, 
you're essentially used for die and for hmm. that looks like it might be decoration okay well that's that's nice out of my inventory though okay do I need anything else no just wants me to make a bottle of natural gas uh. so I think the trick to finding natural gas is somewhere we will find a piece of sand that is bubbling bubbly bubbly sand And that will lead us down to a secret cavern. Like, hello. That is a really good piece of luck. Okay, let me let me get up to the surface again and let me see. Is this coral rock good for anything? Not really. Neat. It's not even Wow. Hey. <sighs> now, I believe that when I dig out that bubbly bubbly sand, that won't be the end of the story. I'm going to have to go down quite a ways. Actually, I think that I can kind of create a little air pocket for myself in there. There we go. And then I'll just do something a little bit cheaty with nooks. To give me a lovely piece of dry land to stand on. Magical force field. But yes. Actually... I think I am going to go and get myself a bunch of ladders so that I can just dig a shaft straight down what the heck crash Okay, that was an utterly weird crash, but we are back now and everything seems to be just fine and dandy. I found my way back home and I made myself, I hope, the rest of the equipment I'm going to need to extract some natural gas. I think that mobs spawn when you have emptiness if you are running too fast. And the Sojourner Sash is like right on the edge of where that range of speed is. So once in a while when you're sprinting, you get a big group of monsters in front of you. When you're sprinting in complete darkness. Yes. While I was finding my way home, I just made a couple of quick pillars marking the way back. And showing the direction I was traveling. And let's get going. Hmm. Maybe I need to go back a little bit and yeah. yeah that's better. But yes, I do believe that if we dig down right here, we should eventually run into a pocket. Could sing a song about digging holes, but that would probably count to stealing. 
Ah, finally. Yes, that poison you get, that's the sweet smell of natural gas. Now I believe to extract it, what you do is you put down your pump, you put some tanks next to it, and you need to give the pump a redstone signal. Then you just, yeah. There it go. Now, there is actually a limited amount of natural gas in each of these pockets. So you kind of have to spend this stuff a little bit wisely, because as you saw, it is quite a pain to track it down. But I do not yet have everything extracted, and I have these two lovely little tanks all filled up. And I just... yes. You think that being enclosed in a diving suit would... well, I, I guess I'm not hooked up to an air supply. Ah, <sighs> inventory problems, inventory problems, so many inventory problems. Hmm. Hmm. You know. He knows what I'm thinking. <laughs> yes. Cobaltite takes quite a while to farm. Maybe it's about time we got ourselves a couple slaves. Eh, I want to do technology for a couple episodes in a row. I want to get my mechanism pipes more to the point. But we can definitely put that on the docket. Yes. Okay. So, I take out this fluid tank, get myself a couple bottles, which I already have, and I believe the quest only wanted me to get this one bottle of natural gas, which does not have V aspects, research points, whatever. Hey, I thought this had a secret quest in it. It didn't say complete before. It does now. Huh. Okay, so, um, I guess back to enables. Oh, come on, there's there's another thing? Oh, it wants the, the uh, hardened glass version. Okay. Just a neat note. This natural gas stuff, you see it, it drains from the top to the bottom because it is a gas. It is very nice. Nice little touch. I believe that in the mod packs that have it, liquids that flow up like um, energized glowstone will also do that. So I need to find my ancient sand. And I believe that the heat resistant glass is the only use for it. So we can just smelt as much of it as is efficient to do so. Okay, there we go, and as this thing will tell you, it holds two buckets worth of fluid. Neat. So, uh, yes, this will allow us to make double the neoprene. Okay. I guess that making that neoprene would be a good step towards getting a a much better form of underwater traveling. But let's see if that completed the quest. Yes, finally this quest is done. Oh boy. I don't even care. Limestone? Get wrecked. More natural gas? Okay. Keep that. 
The factory. Do I have the factory? I do. Well then, goodbye. And put these friendly little fellows in there. So, yes, that unlocked a quest to start making all the air compressor bits for making a scuba tank, which will be a much better and faster form of underwater travel, now that we don't really need to travel underwater. Funny how that works out. I mean, I guess there might be times we need to track down more natural gas pockets. And natural gas is a burnable fuel in the uh, crucible furnaces. It gets it up to 2,000 degrees Celsius, I think. But yeah, that's, that's probably not really a great use for it. And we still do not have these quests, so you know what? We're just going to do this. We are just going to do this to round off the episode. So, why do I still have nausea? Well, I don't visually have nausea, so it's fine. So, we need to make a metallurgic infuser. That's just iron plates. It's osmium plates. Redstone chipsets. We have all of those. And this steel casing, which is just refined steel, those sheets, that's all stuff I have. These sheets of titanium, uh, these iron plates, these osmium plates. I think I threw in a batch of refined steel into our infernal blast furnace. Let's see, what else do we need? Um, yeah, huh, funny, titanium, okay, refined steel, yeah. But still, you'd think a steel casing would be entirely types of steel. Okay, our first proper mechanism machine. Ooh. Wait, do I need to scan any of these parts? I guess I don't. But does mechanism? I guess it does not. Okay, well, so I need two of those. And I think that's it. Oh, oh my goodness. My goodness gracious me, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let's make some more kinesis pipes. Well, I have some. I have some on hand. And let me get some pipe plugs just in case. Yes, you don't want to have too many connections to your diamond pipe. So where do I want to set up our mechanism area? Let's do it over here. In that case, I am going to need more kinesis pipes. There we go. Hmm. You know, yeah, let's move that one farther in so that I don't have it on a lighting row. There we go. Okay. Let's just branch it off right from Za. Of course, I didn't actually open these. That, like, happens half the times, I swear. It's almost like, what's the point of having the cover? I guess so I don't trip in a hole. Oh! <laughs> Metallurgic infuser! We are so close to logistics pipes. We are so close to that basic control circuit. All I need is enriched iron. Oh. 
but I think we are going to have to do that next time. Next time on Regrowth, the war is over. But the bigger war... The battle is over, but the war is about to begin. Yes, the war is... That I, oh God, I am so tired. Good night, everybody.